Hello, what is up you guys? It's Fang Shadows here, and today I'll be playing Date Alive Re-Reincarnation. Well, eventually. <laughs> but I saw these little two bad boys here. Now, I'm familiar with the anime. I've seen seasons one and two. Uh, season three, I've still to catch up on. But um, as far as that is, that's all I really know. Season one and two. And I enjoyed it, I won't lie. There's some interesting characters. But, <laughs> but I'm aware that there are other games here. Rene Utopia. These were games that are obviously or Jap Japan only, but they couldn't get English release or they couldn't get like some thing going on here. So unless you knew Japanese, you were oh good. But since they now got their English translations, I thought let's not dive into this. Rene Utopia. A uh, new game. If you thank you. I'll try to keep these short or as short as I can. Space quakes. Unprecedented disasters caused by the mysterious beings called spirits. The first occurrence took place 30 years ago on the Eurasian continent, killing 150 million people. This event became known as the Eurasian Sky Disaster. Six months later, smaller scale disasters appeared all over Japan, ranging from the southern region, including Tokyo to north of the Kanagawa <laughs> Prefecture. These compromises of the South Kanto Sky Disaster, after which the catastrophe appeared to something. I couldn't read it fast enough. You know, I'm, not, I'm just not even gonna try reading. I can't read, apparently. I was never like the outspoken reader in class, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> like, I can read it in my head fine, but it's just out loud, it's like... No. No, I'm good, man. I'm good. Shido, that's us. An ordinary boy living in Tengu City. I didn't read it too- <laughs> I was reading too slow. There he meets a spirit, a powerful bee. I can't even read that quick. I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> I, can't even talk, I can't even read. The redhead girl's our sister. That's the her subordinate. There you go. I just debriefed it for you. And apologies if, if it's a bit warm. It's hot in Scotland. It's really hot. There's a heat wave here. That's right. I'm I'm sacrificing my life for you guys. Just appreciate that, okay? I'm not reading all that. I won't get a chance to. In order to save the spirits, Shido agrees to work with Ra Ratag- Whatever. Only to learn- Dot 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 dot. He must make the spirits fall in love with him. Oh, the hilarity. Shido Shido's lack of experience in the school of love requires him to, speak to seek the help of many unlikely allies, and thus begins his quest to find the spirits. April, Shido encounters the spirit with a grudge against mankind, naming her Toka. Shido meets Yush Yushino, the crying spirit wishing to bring no harm to anyone. Shido encounters the worst spirit, Kurumi, my favorite, and saves Kotori from going berserk. So yeah, it pretty much just summarized season one. <laughs> it pretty much just went over season one. Now I know, I know um, she's a bit of a yandere. Kur Kurugimi is a bit of a yandere, but... I kind of like her, I mean... I can't, you can't blame me. I mean, Toka's cute, kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. Toka is, she's a sweetheart. But, I don't know, just, I always go for the Yandere ones for some reason. Like, back when, when I was like 14, I liked, you know, Gasai. Yeah, I was a weird kid, I was a weird fucking kid, apparently. <laughs> should be paying attention right now. should be paying attention right now. The moment I opened the door to the rooftop, I knew it was already starting. I felt my skin tingle from the tense air. I turned around, and there stood the girl I was looking for, just beyond my gaze. There stood Toka. Toka! Her astral dress was glowing, and a haze of purple light came from... from from her body. There's no way I can! I may be able to do something if it's. Symbols! I tried to run, but my body wouldn't listen. The ghostly light from Toka's body charged at me. Grunt! Mm. Wait, what? <laughs> In that moment, an intense gravity it tightened my lungs, as if I were plummeted deep into the sea. But I wouldn't stop moving. 
bearing the weight. I took one step to get to Toka. Then another. Symbols! I felt a strong sense of power welling inside me. But where was I- where was it going? Where? Toka was carrying a large sword unbe unbefitting of her- of her gorgeous dress. Sandalfon pierced the ground as she clung onto it, her body shaking. Her beautiful hair was dark as night. A doll-like face betrayed signs of pain, as if withstanding something severe. Even if you don't want me! I slowly approached Toka, struggling to walk. I... I will never let you be alone! Sadness overcame her, and she screamed in a, in a way I couldn't believe. The aura eman emanating from her body even was even stronger than before. There's some words I may have heard of, but not seen. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Toka! If I faltered even a little, the light would surely blast me away. I resisted and reached my arm out to Toka. Toka's expression was full of despair. Just then, I felt a power surging through me. I had no idea where it came from. I'm becoming Super Saiyan, come on! Sandalfon, gripped in to Toka's hands, seemed to answer to it. It suddenly gave off a powerful, burgeoning light. At this rate, Toka will- Give me a high five! Toka, high five me! Well, I'm glad there's actual voice actresses, because I'm glad I didn't have to do female voices. As the sound of Toka's scream rang in my ears, my vision turned white, and my conscious, my consciousness was severed. Was severed. See? I know words, but I just can't read, apparently. <laughs> At least not in public. Hello, you're new. I haven't seen you in the anime or the visual novels. Oh, you pervert. Huh? Whose voice is that? I feel like I know it, but I don't. There is one thing I know for sure. That voice was so warm and filled with kindness. Oh, hello. When I woke up, I saw a familiar face. Toka? Whoa! T Toka! That hurts! That really hurts! Let go! Uh. Jeez, you're gonna kill me there! You almost broke my back with that one! What, what, what's going on? I looked around the room. The girl looking at me with such worry was Toka. Yotogami. Despite her human appearance, she is actually a spirit. A being with great powers. Trust me, we know. We know. <laughs> Seeing Toka's bright smile, my mind was made up. Humans and spirits shouldn't harm one another. If there was one, no other way... I would save the spirits myself. By dating them and getting into their pan! I tried to ask her what was happening, but before I knew it, Toka had stepped away from the bed with her back towards me. Toka? Uh... Okay. I don't know where this is going. Me being a human and she being a celestial spirit female in my room, I can only think of one thing. Uh, what do you mean, Toka? I haven't played this before, I swear I haven't. <laughs> oh, this is joy. Wait, wait a minute! 
Uh, uh, what's the matter with what's the matter with me? What are you doing, Toka? Yeah, I'm making all over, but. Hey! Why am I doing this? <laughs> I hope you people are happy with what I'm doing. What? Toga! Stop! Stop! Please! Calm down! No, 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 I'm not saying that. I just don't feel comfortable with this. That's not the issue. No. Something's up, all right, but it, it's not just me. I'm sorry. I'm just, I did nothing. I'm the victim here. Coterie? Did I do something wrong? No, you did nothing. You're just- You're the victim here. You're the one that's wounded and you're getting hugged by a naked celestial spirit. You're doing nothing. Weirdest sentence ever. I mean, it was, it's not really your fault. You're just- You had good intentions, but it's, it's just weird. What are you talking about? Clearly I don't. I have amnesia. I, yeah, I can't remember a thing. Kotori looked over at Toka briefly, then back at me. Hmm. Dot dot dot. Hmm. Well, excuse me. Just forget it. So, is this taking place just right after season one? Forgive me if I don't know. Forgive me if I don't know. I'm just asking questions. But it just seems like it is taking place just somewhere briefly after season one. Hmm? Okay. Sister, I did nothing. I did absolutely nothing. Okay. This was all... Toka here. I, I'm the victim. No. no Toka was worried about me and... <sighs> okay. Listen to me! Thank you. Is my sister my wingman? Wing girl? Oh, that'd be weird. That'd be really weird. Oh, don't encourage it! Hey, Kotori! No. No. Toka, I'm totally fine now. It's the thought that counts. I feel all better now. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I promise. Hmm? What's the matter? Hey! So, maybe you can tell me. What happened to me? No, I don't know shit. I was just trying to get a high five and I woke up. I don't know what happened. Not at all. I literally know nothing, sister. Yeah. Oops. Hm. The snide one in Kotori. The snide one is Kotori Izuka, otherwise known as my little sister. Her personality changes depending on the color of a ribbon. Oh, okay. When she's wearing white, she's carefree and adorable. To the point where you could actually kind of want to mess with her. But... When her ribbon is black, so her current state, you'd be an idiot to upset her. She has such an, a mouth on her, that's no way, there's no way to win. I call this her Commander Mode, as Coterie leads the organization known as... I can never pronounce this, Rata... 
from the aboard from aboard the ship called Fraxis. I'm calling I'm gonna call it Fraxis, okay? I can't read. <laughs> While Coach Reed is charged with protecting the spirits of the commander of the Rojak, she herself has spirit powers herself. Yep, I remember that. It was recently discovered that someone gave her the powers that turned her into a spirit. Despite her age, Coach Reed bears a lot of responsibility from that role. Oh, you like Peter Parker. I know she needs to be tough, but seeing my innocent little sister turn out this way was sort of a shock. But when I was struggling, Coach Reed stood by my side as family. No matter how much Coach Reed changed, I would do anything for her. <laughs> yep. Yep. Hey. Hey, uh, Yoshino. You were here too? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm all good. Just slightly dis discerned, you know, concerned. Toka. N nothing. Well, whatever. Not a problem. The head part didn't concern you, did it? This awkward little girl is Yoshino. She was the second spirit I met. Yeah, in the rain. And you probably got a lot of um, police officers knocking on your door. <laughs> I know all the, all the characters are 18. It said it before, they're 18. But if you saw her in the streets, you be getting some shifty looks, I'm just saying, I'm just fucking saying. <laughs> She's very quiet and abnormally shy. She somehow managed to open up to us enough to talk, but it took a while to get this to space. That's about it for introductions. Yeah, let's get into this. Oh yeah, that's her puppet. She's a very good, um, ventriloquist. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. You exit too. You exist too, Yoshino. I'm not gonna be roasted by a Muppet, okay? Sorry, I was talking to Yoshino, and I forgot. That's right, I can't forget Yoshinon. Yoshinon is a rabbit puppet and Yoshino's friend. Yoshino's other personality is channeled through this little one here. Yoshino would never hurt someone. She's kind. In fact, she's probably too kind. But her extreme shyness makes her panic, and she risks freezing everything around her. She may be quiet, but she still has the powers of a spirit. Yoshinon loves to talk, and is something of an outlet of control to Yoshino, so she won't ex accidentally hurt someone. And trust me, that, th that puppet will get you in trouble. Seriously, have you seen the show? Go check it out, by the way. Officially. Support the official release. I think now I'm done with all the introductions. Yeah, I think we can get ahead. Oh, I'm fine. Really, son? Your face? It's too close. Like, way too close. Mm -hmm. I need an adult. I need an adult. The one who just came in but clearly looks more tired than I do is Rine Murazame. I probably butchered that to hell. <laughs> to be honest, I got pretty bad bags myself. I got pretty bad bags. I barely sleep. I like sleep at like 2 or 5 in the morning and wake up about 12. <laughs> My sleep pattern is terrible. She's a very talented analyst from the Reticol Covalvatorius and Coach Reed's right hand. She analyzes and monitors the spirits and anything relating to them. She should be very intelligent, but she could never seem to remember my name. That's great. Just like my life. <laughs> she suddenly transferred to my school. Raisin, and is my assistant homeroom teacher. I bet she is. So I see her often. She always has a teddy bear in her chest pocket. Can't help but stare at it. You better hope you're not in trouble. She's mysterious, but genuinely very nice and dependable. I think. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey! Rene san! Oh, tell me about it, sweetheart. Like, my bags are terrible. 
I know, but shouldn't you be the one resting, Rinne-san? I'm actually saying Rinne-san. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Rine-san. Oh, yeah, I just want to say hi. <laughs> Don't what's the matter, me? What is going on? Explain! Explain yourself, madam! Token squeezes me awake. Token squeezes me awake. Kokuri and Yoshino charge into my room, and you're giving me medicine to recover? Did I contract some kind of awful STD? Disease? Mm -hmm. Hiori? What are you? Would you stop popping up like that? Jesus. Sorry, it's not like that. Hey, Kotri, don't just push me into Rinne-san's chest like that. Seriously. Actually, I might not have a problem. I'm joking. A problem? Don't use Rinne-san's chest like that. It's some sort of treatment center. Oh, excuse me? Excuse me, Rinne-san. What? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not being wingmanned by my sister. That's just weird. <laughs> That's just weird in context. Oh, no. I'm fine. Thank you. Forget that. Can you be serious for a second and tell me what's going on? As I said for the fifth time, I don't know what happened. I was trying to get a high five and I woke up in my bedroom with a girl. You know, typical stuff. <laughs> huh? No, I don't. When she, pr when she pressed me like that, I started to get nervous. Clearly something had happened to me. But no matter how much I tried, I couldn't remember anything. Rather, I had no idea how I ended up like this. What I could barely remember was that I had a dream. But that shouldn't have anything to do with this. Three days? Jesus. What? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Three days? Did you just say three days? Yeah, we said three days. Yeah. Establish what's going on. Yeah, I got that part, but what exactly happened to make me fall asleep in there for three days? My, my, my fault? My fault? Okay. But, I mean, what do you want me to say? And why was I, why was I out for so long? I don't remember do, doing anything leading up to that. Yeah. Toka, you went berserk? What do you mean by that? Here we go. Flashback no jutsu. I remembered. That's right. Back then, I... It was when I was chatting with Toka in the classroom. We were talking about how I had been sick lately. And how there was a new item on the, on the bread shop I liked. We were just chatting about nothing. Just then, Toko looked like she was in pain and ran out of the classroom. I rushed to follow her and ran up the stairs to the rooftop, and there I found Toka. <laughs> There's no way I can! Can, can, can. 
指導まで Even if you don't want me, 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 me. I. I will never let you be alone, 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 alone. It's a flashback, so I'm making a flashback sound effects. Don't go! Don't go! Don't go! And that is how I got knocked out. Coach V was referring to my abnormal, abnormal ability to heal from damage whenever I got hurt. Her power was sealed inside me, which made it possible. Until now, I relied on this power almost carelessly. But I honestly didn't know how much healing I could actually do. Sorry. That was my fault completely. I have no words. Hey, you trust me, I'm not gonna jump into fire. I kinda wanna live. No offense. Huh? But I thought I had your powers, Kotori. Oh, I lost all. Yeah? Problem? What's that? But this isn't the first time it happened, is it? Oh, great. Well, I'm gonna be human, more human now, great. But can I still date spirits? Can I still date spirits? Come on. No. I have no idea. I just felt this power inside me leave me. That's all. Mm, I guess I was a little tired that day. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So I'm sorry. I know it's my body and all, but I can't seem to give any useful feedback. Yeah, I mean, what can I do? What can I have done? Oh great, so I'm basically... I'm basically like Krillin right now, aren't I? Well, not Krillin, but at least he had some defense. I'm basically an average human again. So that means... Great! Great! So no Phoenix Downs, no Resurrections, nope. That's it. What? Yeah, I get it. If I die in this real life, I'll die here. Like if I die, I die and I don't come back this time. I just spat on my pup filter. I'm sorry, pup filter, you okay? You okay? You okay? Yeah. So you're telling me one wrong move and I could have died? So you got <laughs> uh, could you give me a bunker, please? I don't want to get involved in this anymore. <laughs> no. Toka, I hear you, sweetheart. I hear you. I hear you. Trust me, I don't want to jump into danger. I'm not going to. Oh, don't worry about it, Toka. See? Look. I'm completely safe. Oh, what did no what did Yoshino do? What? Oh great! Oh, I'm 
What? Yoshino? That went well, didn't it? It's fine. It's fine, Yoshino. Don't worry about it. Are you okay? Okay, that's good to hear. As long as you guys are okay, that's all that matters. I see. That's good. Yeah, of course you're surprised. Of course you are. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Oh well. Yoshinan seems unfazed by this whole situation right now. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Yoshinan. Oh, great. Neat. Of course they are. Of course they are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, what? Well, I know, but don't you think it's inappropriate? In so many ways? No, don't twist this on me. Maybe a little. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'd never. Eh, maybe a little. Maybe I'm expecting something. I don't know. Uh, uh, pff, no, I am not. I, I wasn't expecting anything specific. It's just, you know, it would be an issue for any unhealthy male in high school. I didn't say that. No, I was just wondering if there was any other way? I, I didn't mean it like that. You little sneaky little... What? Toka, I didn't say anything. Yoshino, calm down. I didn't say anything. Yoshino, shut your bit. Shut your gap. Shut your map, you little crap. Okay, I was wrong. Whatever, I'll be responsible for them both, okay? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Of course. Yoshinan is the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oops, sorry. That's right, you get to be with me. Again. One of us, one of us. Who got Chaka? Who got Chaka? Yeah, you're right. Why does it feel so awkward? I wonder why! Excuse me! What? Hey, 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 hey! Watch that! You call the cops on me, I will disown you. Don't! Hmm? What's the matter, Toka? Yeah, you too. That's right. Do you want to eat anything? I'll prepare something. That caviar and... The fuck is... How about that caviar and foie gras thingy? I don't know, I don't eat, I don't eat fancy stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Toka. 
Not that. Anyone want takeaway? <laughs> I don't mind. Hey, if it get if it if it means I get to be closer to celestial spirits. That's good to hear. Wait, really? Uh, I forgot to ask, but how about you, Kotri? You seem to be totally fine, but you're a spirit too, right? Are you okay? That's what all the crazy ones say. They say they're fine, but they're actually not. Deep down, they're in turmoil, they're in pain, but they don't say it because they don't want to burden others with their anger. They don't want to leave a burden on their friends, trust me. I know what that's like. It's too real. Just tell me if you're okay, please. That got dark quick. Oh, really? I thought it would be good that you're with us too. But... Oh, I just thought you might be even more stable if I'm nearby too. I wanted to check with you, but... Oh yeah, I remember that. The season 1 finale. Uh. Really? Oh, why'd you kick me again? I had the balls. Oh, what are you doing, Gotori? I mean, who drop kicks a sick person? I'm not that kind of guy. What? I would never do anything like that. Oh, what, now you're disappointed? You give me mixed signals, man. So, um, Kotori. Why does she look so sad? Well, I said it for you. If I can protect you, wouldn't that be better? That's pretty messed up. さらんだボヌールの限定ミルクレープ10個。まあ、小鳥もあれで。15個。すまないし、今のは私の勘違いだ。I'm seeing what's going on here. This is corrupt system shit. Um, never mind, I guess. Never mind. But, no matter how stable you are, there's a chance that you'd go berserk too, right, Kotori? Then... That's all I asked for. Just to be relied on. Uh, okay. Sure. No problem. Got it. And you know what else? Maybe my sister shouldn't be kicking my ass as well. Because I'm recovering. Seriously. That hurt. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Rinne-san clearly looks more unhealthy than I do. But she took out a thermometer. What kind? Okay. Wait, what, what, what? Hold on a minute, what? <laughs> yeah, why is she doing it? I can do it myself. Excuse me, madam? Excuse me? How dare you, madam? I am a temple! 
が寝不足すぎて幻でも見たんじゃないの You seen this? You seen this? そんなことはない私のそばで一生懸命ラピュセルの特製カスタードいちごミルフィーユ10個シン私の白チュームだったようだ今日は10日かヨシトに拭いてもらうとしよう、um, uh, okay. Okay. This is gonna be weird. <laughs> Rene san,、um, I can wash up and get changed by myself. I sprung up and saw the room spinning around me. No. Shin, Daijo Bukane. I'm not alright. Not only did I almost lose consciousness, I thought I'd never come back. So, Kane. Deva. I need an adult.、Uh, okay. I guess we'll forget those faults this was. I guess we'll forget whose fault this was. I, I, lose, I lost the energy to fight back and just weakly lay down to rest. <laughs> dot dot dot. Kotri was just watching it all unfold. <laughs> Oh. Is it bad that can I trust her more than any of you? No comment. No comment. You, you don't have to. I can do it myself, but she clearly wants you to do it. I have no power. Toka, it's okay. I'll wash myself. You literally just wanted to say you're gonna do it, didn't you?、Uh, okay. If I see anything. This is really weird. Gently, mind. And watch where you're touching. Hands off the merchandise. Oh my god. What? What's going on? I'm super self conscious. Oh boy. What? Should it be afterwards? You mean my mouth, right? Huh?、Uh, okay. Ah! Rene san's cleavage is too close! I almost turned shaggy there, Jesus. <laughs> I immediately looked away and saw Toka moving the towel over my skin and blushing furiously. <laughs> Every time Toka moved the towel, it tickled my body. I felt like I would make a weird sound at any moment. Oh! <laughs> No, no, it's not that. You're doing, you're doing fine, darling. My words. Wipe me where? No, no, not there, not there. That's a sensitive spot. It's fine. It wasn't your fault. No, no, it's not like that. Don't worry. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the dizziness. No, no. Don't do it anymore. Do not tell her that. And you can phrase that way better. You know that. Oh shit, is that a mouse man all the whole time? No, I don't think it was. Never mind. What am I doing in my life? <sighs> Thanks, Toka. I am fine. You are going to hell. I hope you burn in the hottest boil of hell. Kotori, you. Oh no! Haha! <laughs> 
Haha, <laughs> no! That's a bad spawn! No, not there! Don't you come near me! I'm not fine! I am not a perfect! Oh no, I can't take it! Thank God, I thought I was gonna say something there. <laughs> Where's my inhaler? Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Jesus! I need to stop doing these voices. I'm getting to it. Carried away. <laughs> yeah, after you just assaulted me, all four of you. This is poisonous in so many different ways. I'm sure my fever went up for other reasons. Speaking of fever, I'm getting hot in here. Sorry, but I have to close the windows because, um, it's hot. I don't want background noise. So you're welcome, folks. Kotri, you totally knew that would happen. And you just let it happen, didn't you? You... What does she think her brother is? Oh yeah, I'll take care after you just blatantly tortured me. Okay, I'll just take a rest. Toka, I'm fine. Y yeah, I'm fine. I think. Thanks, Toka. You tried your best. No problem. <laughs> oh, my neck. <laughs> Yoshinon, you better watch your back. Uh, it's not your fault, too, Yoshino. You are fine. Hmm? Don't worry about it. Thanks for visiting. <laughs> Not a problem. Thanks, you two. Thanks a lot. I'm not the one that's doing the pushing. You all pushed me to my limits. Jesus. Yeah, got it. I hope your checkup goes well, Yoshino. Later. Oh, trust me, I'm not gonna jump in front of a bullet. Trust me, I'm not gonna like jump off a cliff or do or anything weird. I'll keep to my wits. Okay. Uh, okay. Is that a whisper? You don't want me to hear that? Hmm? What did you say, Kotri? Okay, I didn't hear that. Typical anime. I say something so secret you don't know about it, and I'm right next to you. What'd you say? Nothing! Idiot! Yeah, I will. I think that's what we call it. Gosh. How about a big sigh and start stared at the ceiling? I thought I was gonna say start to fall asleep. <sighs> my back. I couldn't get that last image of Kotri out of my mind. She seems so worried. Now that everyone's gone, I feel lonely. Is that really sappy? At the end of the day, I realize spending time with them is really precious. All this chaos has become the norm. In order for me to be able to stay with them, I'll need to recover as quickly as possible. That's right, do some weights! Just shred your body's muscles. <laughs> I think we'll cut it there. Is it morning yet? Hmm. I wonder what time it is. I woke up and looked at the clock. It seemed to have been... I said he'd been asleep for a few hours. Oh, I know that feeling, man. Come to think of it, I wonder how origami, origami's doing. She wasn't here to check up on me. She's she's under my bed, isn't she? She's right under my bed. Things got twisted when Origami thought Kotori murdered her parents. 
Yeah, season one, definitely. I haven't been able to talk to her lately. I wonder if she hates me now. I know it's selfish of me, but I wonder if there's any way that origami and Kotori... No, they're all spirits. Could get along. No, all the spirits could get along. I wish. Origami would pay me a visit. And she jumps out the window to meet you. Hmm? As I thought hard, I drifted it off into sleep. Hmm? No! No! Stranger danger! What the? There's something in my bed. Hello! What are you doing? Origami! What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> I think we'll cut here. Thank you for enjoying. <laughs> uh, how do I save? Oh, what? I should have read the controls. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Anyway, I think that'll be it for this first part. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I decided to spruce things up a bit with the camera. Hopefully it works out well. I recorded a previous video trying to make this setup work. I think I've got it going. Hopefully it does. If not, well, I'm out of luck. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you want to see more, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video. If you want to keep up to date, I appreciate if you subscribed and keep up to date with stuff and check out my other stuff I'm doing. So, see you all next time when we find out why Kotri is under my bed. Or on my bed. Either way, it's not good. This has been Fang Shadows. Peace.